In this video, I'll show you how to restrict access to a certain views to a certain classes added to the admin panel and how to restrict access to entire Flask admin panel. And we can do it with the Flask security extension. To restrict an access of unauthorized users to a page, First of all, I have to define a user and his role. And so I have to create two new models, user and the role. And also I will set a relationship between them. It will be many-to-many -many relationship too. So I need a models py file. And here from Flask security, I'm importing user mixing and role mixing classes. The user mixing class provides to us helper methods like get user, is active, has a role, etc. And then I'm defining a new model, the user class. It will be an instance of the Model class and user mixing. The user will have ID and email. Email will be string data type, max length will be 100 and it should be unique. Then the user will have a password. Actually, and uh, as a rule of thumb, passwords are not stored in a database. Usually databases stores only hashes of passwords. Django, for example, stores salted hashes that he gets by applying hashing functions to a password 30,000 times. Here, I am using Flask security that will do almost the same. So the column will be string. The user will also have the active field. It will be boolean, true or false. And the role. The role model will have only ID and the name. I want to focus your attention that the name field is the required field. And I mean, if you'll define another field, a title, for example, you'll get an exception. Also, I have to create an additional table to store information about the many-to-many -many relationship. And uh, I'll do it the same way like I did for the post tag association. So that's, it will be here roles and users, db table, the name of the table roles users, then the first column will be user id, db integer, it's a foreign key and the path to its value is the user ID. The second column Flask raises an exception install email validator. I'll do it a bit later. So table is ready and now I have to define the relationship. Let's say it will be in the user table roles field it will be db relationship. And the first argument is the model 
the second participant of this relationship its role class then the secondary parameter is the table I want to use to store the data about this relationship its um, roles users table then the back ref back reference role instances will get users field and also it will be lazy dynamic and now i have to reflect all these changes in my database and also i need to install email validator control c and here pip install email validator then I need my manage py file python manage py db my migrate command role id and uh, role id of course sorry for that let's try again migrate okay it's done and uh, upgrade it's done okay and now i want to create a user and connect flask security to my app in the app py model i want to import from flask security sql alchemy user data store this class is a storage that will store users sql alchemy object and roles also I need to import my user and role classes but I've already done it in this line okay I have to create a user data store object it's an instance of SQL Alchemy user data store class and the constructor of this class takes SQL Alchemy object DB the user model and the role model then to connect flask security to my app I'm creating the security variable that's an instance of the security class that I have to import firstly and its constructor takes my app and user data store variable okay and now I want to create a user from app import I need DB and the user data store object and there is a small detail here I have to create a user through the user data store object but not with my user model this way is required by flask security documentation so the user user data store and I'm calling the create user method email will be admin and the password will be admin we can check whether the user was created or not
OK. And now I can restrict an access to my app. So I need the Blueprint PY module. And here I have to import from Flask Security the login required decorator. And uh, I can use this decorator to restrict a nexus to the post create and post update views. I'm restarting the server. Okay, and I have an access to the create new post form. And now I can use this decorator to restrict an access to create and update post views. Below the road decorator, I'm calling the login required decorator. Okay, let's test it again. And it's working. We can see the form. Let's try to log in. It was admin test.com and the admin. And I have runtime error. It suggests to set security password sold and security password hash. So I have to edit my config py file. So security password sold should be long and random string is just an example in uppercase and security password hash I want just to use SHA 512 underscore crypt and the security password hash should be also uppercase. Let's try it again. Admin. Okay, it's working. New post. Again, log out. New post. And uh, it redirects me to the login page. Now let's go to the admin page. And we can see that the admin panel is still accessible. And uh, I need to integrate Flask Security and Flask Admin. But firstly, I want to customize my login form. I need the root templates folder. And here I have to create the security folder. And inside this folder, I want to have HTML templates with the names that the Flask security templates have. So I need at least login user HTML and I want to take it from the virtual environment. The env is a directory with my virtual environment. A lib folder python 38 site packages flask security templates security and i need login user and messages control c and then i have to copy it my app template security okay then first of all login user HTML file should extend my base HTML file okay let's restart the server And let's try login form. 
okay i've got my menu but the page is empty because i have to use my block content block I've got the form, but it has a lack of CSS classes. CSS classes I can provide with the render field function. These functions. In parentheses here, I can specify the class parameter. So I need the submit class will be btn btn success the email input tag will have from control CSS class and the password too f5 too many parentheses closing parentheses okay I've got the form. Nice. Then log out, new post, and I need CSS classes for this message. I need messages, HTML file, and here list item tag uses category CSS class, and I have to use bootstrap CSS classes for alerts so and also i want to use just divs div and here will be div2 cs class will be alert alert dash category five okay it's working and now I want to define an admin user. My user should be admin. So I have the user here. And first of all, I have to create a role for my user. Data store create role. Sorry. I have to pass to the create role function the name of the role. It should be admin, maybe. Okay, and now I can save this role to the database. Okay, I've got a user and the role. Now I have to set the relationship between them. So user data store object, and I'm calling the add role to user method user role db session commit okay i've got the admin and now i want to change the link in the menu to admin panel I want to show to a user a link to the admin panel if he has the admin role. So I need the base HTML file and I need this link. Instead of the new post, I want to have the admin link and then I have to check if current user has a role admin if he has render him the link the current user object is the user object provided by the flask security and the has a role method is provided by the user mixing class and um, if he is admin I want to show him the admin panel link and the href attribute will be just a relative path to the admin panel. Okay, the next step is to integrate Flask admin and Flask security. 
And to do it, I have to create subclass of the modal view class. I need app py file and somewhere here before admin, I want to define some classes. Later, we can move this class to a separate module, something like admin py file and just import it here. So I need new class admin view subclass of the model view. And the model view class has two methods that I want to override here to restrict access to the admin panel. So it's a is accessible method. This method defines the accessibility of a certain view to a certain user. And this method will return true if the current user has the admin role. So return current user has a role admin. And I have to import the current user object. Then the second method is an accessible callback. And this method is called if a certain view is not accessible to the current user. And this method will redirect a non-admin user to the login page. Return redirect URL for and then I specify in the blueprint that I want to use. The function blueprint and the function. It says the security blueprint, Flask security, and its login function. And then the second argument is the next. It's the URL a user wants to get. So I am using here the redirect function, URL for function and the request object. So I want to import them all. From Flask, import redirect URL for and uh, request object. Okay, I've got this class and now I want to use it this add view methods instead of the model view. Let's test it. F5. I have to log in. Okay, admin. Wrong link. Log out. Admin. And uh, post and tag classes added to the admin panel disappeared because I'm not authorized admin user. And now I want to restrict an access to entire admin panel. And to do it, I am want to create new class and this class will be the subclass of the admin index view. I need the app py model and from flask admin I want to import this class admin index view and I want to define somewhere here a new class. Let's say it will be home admin view. It's a subclass of the admin index view. 
Okay, and this class has the same two methods. Just copy and paste it here. And now I have to use this home admin view class here, admin app, then the second argument will be the text of the link to the main page. Let's say it will be flask app. Then the third argument is the URL of this link. URL will be root. And the last one is the index view parameter that will be my class, an instance of my class. The name parameter will be just home. Let's test it again. Five admin and I have to log in. To get to the admin panel, I have to log in first. Okay, let's log in. Great. And now I can see post and tag classes, Flask app and home. It works. But I have here some code redundancy. And uh, to reduce it, I want to create a mixing like in Django tutorial. A mixing is a class. Let's say it will be admin mixing. And then I just copy and paste here all common code. And then admin panel and home admin view classes will be descendants of this admin mixing class too. The first, the second. Admin view will be pass. Pass again. The order of ancestor classes in multiple inheritance matters. The admin mixings and modal view classes have the same method and will be used the method of the class that is in the left side. So let's test it again. Nothing changed. And the last uh, for today, I want to fix the problem with the creating tags or posts without slugs. Flask admin creates class instances differently. It doesn't use class constructors. So I have to say to Flask admin what exactly he should do. And uh, in the app py module, I want to create a new class somewhere here. Okay, let's say it will be base model view class, a subclass of the model view class. I need to override the method on model change. If something is changed in an instance of a model, a new slug should not be generated. So I am checking whether it was created or not. If is created, then I am calling the generate slug method of the model. And then I am calling the on model change method of the ancestor class. And now I have to say to Flask admin to apply base model view class only for post and tag models because they only have generate slug method, but role and user haven't. So again, I need <laughs> another classes, class post admin view. That will have admin mixing as ancestor 
and the base model view pass tag admin view and then add view method we will get post admin view and tag admin view and we can test it admin tag create save yep i forgot about it the tag has no attribute generate slug it's true not a problem let's add self generate slug again okay and slug was generated successfully and also we can customize an appearance of this form in the appy fi file in the post admin view we can provide form columns variable it's a list of fields let's say it will be title body and text let's look at it again f5 and we can see only these three fields title body and text if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching.